Well, here is the uh, the carburetor off the Bobcat. Um, it's a 16 horse Kohler engine, uh, K341, I believe it is. And uh, this is the carburetor off it. Um, I've had this apart before and I've cleaned it and I've uh, you know kind of looked everything over and uh, still not running right. My problem is basically the low idle does nothing. I mean you can turn that any way you want and it doesn't seem to change anything. And the high idle is very touchy. I mean you just barely move it and it doesn't want to run right. It is either too rich and it bogs down or it goes super lean and dies out. So uh, something's wrong with that and basically I clean everything out except for the idle circuit you know you probably can't see it in there but there are two tiny little holes um, that are for off idle and then uh, this one here there's a passageway you can kinda see where it is it's uh, drilled in let's see if I can find the hole there's the hole right there the needle actually if you tighten it up can go through it but basically that's not working the way it should so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this apart and uh, clean those up but I figured I'd show you how how uh, to take it apart and what it looks like inside um, the first thing I'm gonna do because this still has uh, some gas in it is go ahead and take that 9 16 uh, bolt out and that will basically drain out all the gas and I'll be able to take the bowl out so I'll go ahead and do that first though I think I'm gonna have a little liquid shop warmer, shop heater. It's too cold in here. But I'll go ahead and knock that off and uh, find a bucket to drain that little bit of gas in. All right. Well, I got the uh, fuel bowl off here and uh, went ahead and I just cleaned that up a little bit. It wasn't dirty. I cleaned it before. I mean, there's a little bit of rust in it, but uh, I don't care. And uh, here's the bolt that came out of it. Now, when I first took this apart it had uh, crud all the way packed to the top so I cleaned that out before and that's all clear and uh, when you get in here what you'll see is the float and uh, that should be level this one is actually a little bit high well it's quite a bit high so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and bend it back down but I did that because uh, <clears throat> it uh, seemed to be getting too much gas so I thought it was flooding up through there too much or something so I bent it back a little farther than it should, but it was, you know, way down there. So then you don't want to just push it down because you can actually wear out the needle. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. See if I can do this here with one hand. But basically, all I got to do is pull this pin out and don't lose it. The bowl makes a great tray, and then you can pull the uh, float off. Now this float still works; it's fine. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bend that just a little bit back because I can always bend it the other way later. There we go. That'll probably be good. And I'll set that in there and I'll adjust it when I put it back together a little more. But now the next thing that's in there is the uh, the needle. Now that's where the gas comes in. I'm just going to flip that over. Make sure that's in good shape, which I've actually already done. You can't see it, but it's fine. And now the next step, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll leave that gasket on. It ain't hurt nothing. I'm going to go ahead and just take these uh, these jets out here, which are long threaded things. Let me tell you what. <coughs> Move the throttle there. And that's what the jets look like. Now this is uh, this is actually clear. I've blown through it, and uh, all the holes are, cl are clear, and it's not uh, messed up anywhere. So this is actually a good good piece. All the holes are clear in that part of the carburetor. Um, this one's still in good shape. I've uh, looked at this, and there's nothing wrong with it. What you look for in something like this is if somebody screwed this in too far and marred up that head. And if that happened, basically you'd have to buy a new carburetor because that's not a screw-in jet. It's actually just a hole in the carburetor body itself. So, And I've seen that. 
I've seen people do that where they just crank them in, but basically now I'm to the point where uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take this uh, air horn off here. And that's uh, just these two screws. They're Allen head. I believe this is 3 16 I'm going to pop those off. And then basically the carburetor is apart as far as I'm going to take it. And uh, once I get it that far, I'm going to go ahead and just blow air through all the circuits. Um, I don't have any carb cleaner to run through them. Otherwise, I'd run that through them. But uh, I'm just going to blow them, make sure air goes through them. And hopefully, Hopefully there's some crap in there and I'll clear it out, but uh, won't know until I'm done. All right, well I got it. Uh, I got it apart here. I got the air horn off, and the, the gasket's not the best. But uh, I got curious, and I went ahead and I pulled that gasket off where the bowl sits, and underneath it I found this hole that I didn't notice before, and uh, it's just packed with crud. Um, there's just a hole that goes up into this square block. Now, what it does, if it feeds anything, if it's a drain back, or I have no idea what it does, but it was packed with crap. So, you know, that's something I overlooked when I had it apart before. So, hopefully, if I clean that out, it'll work. I'm still going to go ahead and take and blow something through those little tiny holes there. And hopefully, if there's anything in there, it'll dislodge it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to clean that out too. Hopefully that's uh, that's my problem. I don't have to take it apart again. But uh, yeah, it just goes to show you if you don't pull everything apart and look at it, you know, you can miss something like I did. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up and uh, hopefully I'll fix it. Well, it's the next day. Um, my camera batteries kind of died last night, so... Uh, I just set it aside, but when I was in there thinking about it, <coughs> I uh, figured out what that hole is up there, and uh, I believe it's a vent, um, a bowl vent, and that being plugged basically would explain every single problem I've had. Um, problem of having this main jet only out uh, three quarters of a turn rather than the three and a half turns it's supposed to be, and having it too much gas, you know, if you open it up just a hair too much. And the reason behind that is basically when the bowl's on and that thing was clogged up, uh, the fuel that was coming in here would pressurize the fuel bowl because it couldn't, the extra air and stuff couldn't, extra pressure couldn't escape through that hole. So the only other place it could go was right through here. So it was actually feeding pressurized gas up through that jet rather than uh, just uh, the vacuum drawing it up and sucking it in the engine so and that also explains why uh, why uh, it wouldn't idle I had to have it wide open all the time because as soon as I put it down it was getting less air and the same amount of gas so it would just uh, die out and that's why when I bring it down close to idle and turn this it wouldn't do anything because it was just getting the same amount of gas all the time no matter what so I've got that cleaned out. I'm going to go ahead and throw it back together. And I don't want to have to eat my words, but I think it's going to work. Um, I think that was exactly the problem. And it just, uh, just goes to show you, you got to look, look uh, at absolutely everything. The reason I didn't see it the, the first time I had it apart, or actually the second time. first time I just cleaned out the bowl. But the reason I never saw it before is because this gasket was on here. And I never bothered to take this gasket off and you can't see anything underneath it so got that off I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back together well I've got it back on um, everything's set uh, to the initial setting in the book so I don't know how well it's gonna start usually you know before I clean that out you just turn the key no choke and it would fire um, you know, assuming you had that needle in the exact right spot, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the big door and uh, <coughs> crank her over and see what happens. Hopefully it'll run good.
actually runs runs really good now. And uh, I stood in the bucket and I pushed down on this and it actually picked me up. So I don't know. I'm going to burn around with it and pick up some dirt and see uh, see if it picks up some more weight. Well, the bobcat works perfectly. Um, I've been out playing around. Engine runs great. Idles up. Idles down. Um, bucket lifts as much weight as you want to put in it. I was out here just playing around in the garden, spreading a little bit of that shit around. But uh, yeah, it works perfect. You know, all it was was that little uh, mud bug made a nest uh, in the carburetor there, and that one uh, that one bowl vent and all those problems were caused by that. I think it was just running to where the point uh, where it wasn't getting enough power to spin the pump fast enough, and uh, you know that's why the hydraulics weren't working. And man, kind of feel like a kind of feel like a dumbass, you know. It's just that one little small problem, and I'm looking everywhere else. But you know what? It works now. Works good. So I'm happy. It just goes to show you. Check uh, check everything real good when you take it apart. Well, now it's off to. Uh, see if I can figure out that bushing down there, that pivot, uh, it's kind of falling apart, so we're going to have to go look at that and uh, change the oil uh, in the engine, and I think that's about, oh, adjust the clutches um, for the handles here, because they're not doing the best, but after all that's done, man, we'll have a working machine in no time, and then over the winter I think I'll drop this off at my uncle's and he'll uh, straighten up little stuff and paint it up real nice and whatever because he likes to play with that and he's the one that wants to use it to clean out the barn and whatever little project so he does that and he can use it and it's a good deal I'm happy Halloween's a good day <laughs>